What's going on? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. Um, just a heads up before this video goes any further. Um, this was just me um, yard selling. This was Friday. Um, today is today's the 10th, so it is August 10th, 2020. And um, let's get into the video. Okay, so there was a couple things. I got a Nike book. Um, I did get another book. I got a couple books that were in really good shape. Um, there was a Lakers lamp, but it was missing the lampshade. The lampshade was crushed. I don't think it was vintage anyway. It was really nice though. I think the Lakers um, logo's been the same for a really long time, so it's kind of hard to tell what's vintage. There wasn't a date on it. But anyway, it was missing the shade, so I passed on it. But there was a Lakers um it's like a um, like one of those little square rugs, like a room rug, bathroom rug, whatever it was. Um, my kids will probably just put it on their floor in the basement. I'll I'll find a place for it. But um, there was a little pair of Nike shoes. I think I spent a total of eight dollars. So I think with the books, and I got a toy for my grandson. I think with the books and the Nikes, I'll probably make about thirty or thirty bucks, something like that. One of the books was like the story of Nike, so I'm pretty sure that's an interesting book. I'm not sure of the value. I didn't scan it. I just kind of grabbed it. It was, it was just kind of an impulse thing. Uh, oh, and the other book is a Jordan book, so I might have to hide that from my kids if it's actually worth, you know, a decent amount. So we're going to get, I got to go to this other one. It's up here. I don't know. I think I see a box. Is that a free box? What's in the box? free so we're gonna get out and look and see what's in it it was definitely something that I'm not interested in it was free veggies I think it was a gourd come on mother mm -hmm. almost slept almost slept put your car and drive and it will go forward okay so I don't see a turn I'm a, I'm guessing that if there was a yard sale at the end then there should be a sign up here so Let's find this next yard sale and see what we can get. Okay, so there was a bunch of toys at this one too. I did pick up some toys. I got a big giant Jack Sparrow and um, the, the the one that was like an octopus. The I can't remember the name of the, the captain or whatever he was. And this lady just boxed me in. Okay, to be continued, I actually need to... Because I think, well, let me try this way and see what we got cooking down this way. But I definitely don't want to get low. Oh, there's another yard sale right here. Let me hit this yard sale up. And uh, I spent $30 there. I think the Jack Sparrow and the other, the other one are definitely worth, you know, definitely worth that. So we'll see. Let's see what we can find at this one. All right. So I got a couple things at this yard sale. I would like to put some GPS in and try to find another yard sale it is getting late it's 10 o'clock now I would like to actually get started soon mm -hmm. and uh, there was Alan Iverson bobblehead she bought one I was like you know what my son already has like three of them I was like so it doesn't make sense to keep buying them the same things over and over and over so I mean five dollars is a great price I mean they usually sell around 15 20 dollars they're not worth a ton of money but I did get a Michael Jordan postcard. Um, I got a um, a jersey card, a football card where there's a where's a piece of his jersey in it. I got one of those. I'm not sure of the player. I didn't look it up. Usually they're worth like maybe ten bucks, something like that. I don't know. I just had it, had them throw it in. But um, what else did I get? I got a PlayStation 4 game, a motocross game. I got all that for two dollars. So I mean that's pretty good deal but then I got this Seiko watch that is um it looks old it definitely looks vintage it's got a big calculator on it it has another piece like I don't know if it's complete though but um I know I need to find a I definitely need to find a box so that I need a donation box so that's what I think I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna search for a donation box 
Okay, so let's get this straightened out here. So here's the deal. I picked up this Seiko watch. Here's the watch. Here's what it looks like. Here's the box. It's got the thing in it. Um, this watch is worth a lot of money. Um, I think that you take the watch and you put it into the calculator. And um, But it's, it's almost complete, but I don't think that the main piece is here. I think it may be missing. I'm actually going to take it out in front of you guys and we'll see if maybe yeah because I don't think that it would have came apart but here's the main the main piece the main see the watch fits inside of that this is definitely vintage made in Japan so here's the watch is that it right there no it's this is made out of metal it's missing the watch it's missing the electronic piece but I'm guessing that even just oh, I just bent the shit out of that even just for this piece right here, just for the empty pieces, I don't know what this is. This is just a reference, um, something, letter, I don't know. It's just a little, a little card. You know, maybe I can get a hundred bucks or whatever just for what is here, just for the pieces. So it's a shame that it's actually missing the most important piece. But um, it is what it is. I only paid five bucks for it. Someone's gonna need the replacement for this. Maybe I'll go online and I will look and see what the rest, yeah. So still not bad, I mean, still not a bad score. So not bad at all. Not bad for five bucks. I'm guessing that I should be able to for this incomplete, I can probably still get a hundred bucks for it. So all day, every day, I have the whole the whole thing complete. I'm s man, that's killing me that that piece ain't there. I mean, it wouldn't have sold for that much. One sold for four something, and that's just I don't understand why it sold for that much. And the other ones are selling for one fifty. So what does that mean? Um, I can always auction it and let it sit at auction and see what happens. But I'm um, still a great find, really good score. Well, that one was a total, total bust. Um, sometimes it bees like that. You already know the deal. So we're going to go to another one. Yeah, there wasn't anything there. A couple TVs, a bike, some books. You know, just a bunch of, just a bunch of real junk. Like, nothing to get excited about. But I am excited about that watch. Really excited. So that paid for my whole day. I mean, um, I'll definitely get that listed right away. I'll probably list it tonight. And I'm definitely willing to take offers on it. If somebody offers me 80 bucks for it, I'm going to take it just to move it. But um, I'm wondering if I can part that out. It's mostly complete. That's the best part. Like, it's almost complete. Oh, man. That's probably why someone probably seen it but passed on it but didn't see the opportunity or didn't see it at all. I don't think anybody saw that at all. They didn't. Um, some When I go to yard sales, I really dig for things like for bo I, in boxes and tubs and especially when there's clothing I always dig through the clothing because there's always something really good hidden inside so you just have to look you gotta you gotta really look and I have no problem digging you know I'm used to going to the bins and uh, there's no there's no shame in my game I'll get my hands dirty I you can always wash them um, if you don't feel comfortable with that you can always wear gloves so I like to feel fabric though for like cashmere and things like that. So I never wear gloves. But um, here's another garage sale. Is this a garage sale? Yep, this is garage sale. All right, so let's stop at this one and see what's popping, yo. Okay, so much for this video, huh? That one was a bust too. So that was basically two in a row. So I'm gonna GPS. I'm gonna look and see. I got some stuff in the back I need to get rid of. I need to find a donation bin. Um, of course I gotta pee, I gotta pee every 10 minutes. But um, when you keep drinks in your car, you constantly have to go, you have, constantly have to go, so. Mm. Whatever, you gotta stay hydrated, I guess. All right, so we are gonna go figure that out and I'm gonna find another um, yard sale. I'm definitely gonna have to quit soon because I got to get at least a couple hours in of Uber. Um, what I missed today, I can always make up for tomorrow because there won't be any sales. There won't be, Sunday's a no distraction day where I can probably, you know, pull in 150, you know, if not more. Um, hopefully it's busy and people still need rides. People still need to go to work on Sunday. So I look at it, at, at, I look at it that way because 
Um, Uber seems to be always busy and Instacart seems to have slow days, but people always need rides. If you go out early enough for Uber, you will, you'll be taking people to work and you know, um, there may be some food deliveries, but it seems like I can always make at least a hundred a day on Uber, hundred or more. But on Instacart, there's days where it's dead, where you go out and there's nothing. There's like Monday through Wednesday, there's like nothing to do, but Uber, I can just work every single day. And uh, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, so let's try to find a donation bin. I would like to find one first and possibly a bathroom. So we'll see. Okay, so heads up, I did find a donation bin, but I just went past. It was almost like it was meant to be. There is a rummage sale right here. I think that's a little too, I think that should be tied right there. I think I lost the piece. Yeah. I have to tie a knot in this right here. So we're going to go check this rummage cell out right now. How's that? I don't want it to be too tight. Just enough to cover my... See, now it's not tight enough. I think... Trying to make it closer to the thing. That one's already not knotted. All right, that should work. I gotta get another one of these. I lost the little rubber pieces that were supposed to be there, but let's go check it out. Okay, so we did get shut out right there. I don't know, it turned off. But um, somebody was trying to cross the street and I was trying to pay attention. And um, this clothing bin is clothing and shoes only, so I just can't throw a bunch of, I have a lot of hard items that need to go. And I gotta get them out of my car. I don't, there's no room in my trunk. I won't be able to pick up customers. So I have to find somewhere where I can dump this stuff. So, man, otherwise I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna look around. It's 11.30, I think there's one more yard sale. Okay, what's going on? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift and we are back in the basement. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up today. Had a phenomenal day. Um, one of the best things that happened today was, um, I believe there was a guy that does yard sales um, in the same town that I got basically everything. I did a little bit of Uber today, not very much, but um, I did very well with yard sales. There was um, there was a church sale, it was um, called a rummage sale, and then there was this other guy that does he does um, which we call it oh uh, excuse me I'm an itch. Um, there's another guy that does um, he does storage units and he takes the storage units and basically he just takes a lot of the stuff and he just would rather just flip it and sell it and get rid of it fast. He's not really concerned about making top dollar on each item. He just wants to kind of move it so. I'm really kicking myself in the butt over this because I should have gave him my number, but he is going to have a yard sale again, and why are you near my stuff? It's a cat. Can I help you? That's what I thought. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into the video now. Um, I always pick these bats up. We are near Harrisburg. I do see them a lot, but I never see them new. This one is very pretty, very, very pretty. This is a Louisville Slugger from Harrisburg Senators. Um, there's always an advertisement on them, but this one is brand new. It's still in the bag. So this is like really like super pristine. There's not a nick in it. There's a little like, there's like a couple little, that's just from it being moved around, but this was never played with and never used. So this is basically new with like minor, um, I'll just do like minor scuffs, but this is definitely a good bat. Very nice bat. It even has... I'm not really sure what zero is. I know there's like a drop on a bat or something like there's a weight, there's the the weight of the bat and then there's the um then there's the length of the bat. So this is probably this is a smaller bat, so this is definitely um a a little league bat or a, ch a child a youth bat. So anyway, um I paid I think I paid 5 for it. The only reason I paid 5 for it was because it's new in the bag. So I'm guessing that with this, it may be a collector's item. I may get a little bit more for this. Um, a lot of people um, follow Harrisburg Senators. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't think that I sell Harrisburg Senator stuff from other states. Like, you know, you'd be surprised. I mean, just because you live in Philly don't mean doesn't mean that you follow the Phillies or the Eagles or the Flyers, etc. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that I get at least 30 for this plus shipping. Uh, I'll be happy if I... If it sells for like 20 or 25, I'll be happy with that. 
the turn five in the, in the 20, I, I would, I'd be okay with that. Um, hopefully it'd be a quick flip because it's a brand new bat. Um, this was part of the, the yard sale. It's kind of like a Fitbit, but this is brand new. Um, I don't have to put batteries in it or nothing. It's already on. As you can see, it's already ticking. This is just a Fitbit. Um, um, it's just a track tracking, you know, whatever for like running and um, whatever you're doing that's motion active, you know, whatever. But um, still got the box. I think I seen one that sold for. I think the lowest these sell for is about twenty two dollars. So I think I paid five for this too. So I did go up a little high on some items, but some other items with higher value, um, I paid a lot less for. So. Um, this, I wasn't sure if this was part of a game, but this is a Ford. It is the for sale, um, 5,500, the doors open. It's pretty dope. Um, I just saw it and I knew, I, I thought that this was like, um, it maybe went to a game, but it's definitely dope. It's really cool. It's like a good scale model. Bottom of it's pretty, it, it's got some, some words on it, but I may be able to get that off with Google on. I'm not really expecting on getting that off that may not come off but it's still a cool piece to sit on a desk or um just to have for like a collector's item um i think even without the box there's a little bit of dust in there i think even without the box it's really cool like even on the inside i think the stick shift is broken i think i see that right now oh i think yeah i think the stick shift is yeah the stick shift is broke well if I keep moving it, I think it's probably just going to break. Yeah, it's ready to break off. So the stick shift is broke on the inside. I did not see that. Um, probably like 15 bucks, 20 bucks maybe. Some of them sell for a lot higher. I'm not really sure why, but being that that piece is broken there, I do pay attention to detail, so I really do look at everything. So whatever, not too bad. Um, these are the next pieces. Now, I wasn't going to get this, but I couldn't say no to the price um these are electronic there's this one there's the jack sparrow and then i have the davy jones one this one is actually the arm actually is off but i believe that i should be able to glue it i should be able to glue that right back on so that's probably what i'm going to do i'm going to glue it on i have really good glue i have like like that like laser glue or something but all the pieces are with him i got his sword here's his hat so we got his hat his little, his little hat, his little drunken, drunken hat over there, and um, I think there may have been more. That may be it for him. So, but we did get him, and we got the Davy Jones right here, which this is complete. Also, here's the whole piece. He's got the, got the crab claw, and it was really cool. This movie was actually really dark for a Disney movie, like. If you really think about it, like, look at that character. Like, the characters are just, you know, like, demonic almost. But here is his, here's his stick. The staff that he holds. I think he holds the staff. And then he does have the sheath, the sheath, I guess you call that, with the knife. So the knife does come out. But I believe that this piece is supposed to be connected to his shoulder. And I may have to maybe glue that as well. So maybe two pieces that I might have to glue and it'll be fine. Or I can sell it as is and let the person that buys them. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to sell them together or they just are really cool. Does that move? I'm not sure. But I know they're electronic too. They're also electronic talking. So I'm going to put batteries in these. I have to also do that as well and make sure that they work. So really cool finds. I think he wanted 10 for both of them five a piece and I was like I don't know because I wasn't really sure what they were worth here's his hat um and then he got the knife and everything with it so I mean really cool just a really cool find something that you don't see every day here's the knife here's all the pieces to that and I'll that will get listed tonight um shouldn't be too hard to take the pictures on that but um I think I should be able to glue them and I think they should be fine but um he did I was getting ready to just walk away, and a lot of people will do that. If you don't want to pay a certain price for something, if you kind of just, like, just, you know, go in another direction, a lot of times they'll turn around and say, well, look, you know, how about would you take this? And some, 
sometimes it's better to maybe even use that type of strategy, but I don't really like to talk people into or, you know, coax people into, you know, like low balling. I'm, I'm, it's really not my style. I, I do know how to haggle. It's not a problem. I know when something is worth something, I don't need to haggle. I'm not going to talk them down because I know that that item, I'm going to sell it. I have enough experience now to know what to buy that what's going to sell right away, what's going to sit for a long time or, you know, whatever. So, um, I got this DVD, Donna Reed, I believe this was at another, this was at the, this was at the church, the church sale, the rummage sale. So I did look this up. I wasn't going to buy any DVDs, even for a dollar, not knowing that they are selling for a decent amount of money. This series is actually selling for more than $20. This may even be a 30 or $40 series. Um, this is the Donna Reed show. If you have the whole, the whole set with all the seasons, this is only season three. The whole set is worth like over a hundred dollars. So this is a good. These old shows are really good sets to look out for for the seasons. So like that other one that I have, the um, the one that was Dallas. Dallas is another really old, um, like a soap opera type of show. Um, and that one's worth a good bit. It didn't sell yet, but it'll definitely sell. I think it's like season one. So these I did look up to make sure to see if they were worth anything. And one was like sold for like 30 something dollars just for the one. So I think it was the one with the three, this one with the three videos, the three DVD workout set. But then I also have this one to go with it, the bun and thigh. So I'm going to put the bun and thigh with the, the basic set. So we're going to do the bun and thigh basic set. Yeah, we'll put them together and pedal. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I should get at least $40 for both of them. Not bad for two bucks. I mean, I paid a dollar a piece. This, I only grab audiobooks. Any type of audiobooks doesn't matter. I always grab them whenever they're really cheap, like a dollar or less, but they have to be sealed. I will not buy any of the audio sets, CDs, because then I don't have to look at them. I don't have to be like, oh, are they? I mean, I'll pick them up if they're free, if they're in the trash, maybe. I'll grab them, um, and I'll look at the discs, and if the discs are bad, I'll just toss them or, you know, whatever, but... Um, most of the time, I only pick stuff like this up if it's new. So I didn't even look this up. I don't even know what this is worth. But they are cassettes, so the value is going to definitely be lower. Um, we got some football. Um, these were all free. This was on a free table. So I did kind of pick and choose because they're VHS tapes. VHS tapes do sell. Do not um, think that you're not going to sell them. I got a Cheech and Chong up in smoke. That one is all good. I got a radio also today. I got a, um, finally found a, t a, t um, a cassette tape. And I gave him the batteries because I didn't want to deal with all the weight. And now I can't find a cord for it. So I should have probably kept the batteries. I do have my own batteries, but I don't want to keep pumping batteries into it because those D batteries can get very expensive. They can get really expensive. So I'm going to probably put these two together and sell them together. They're both Sports Illustrated football. So this one is Football Follies and this one is crunch course i'm sure any football fanatic fan would probably love to have these in their collection um if that's the type of thing that they like um i did not look this up but this was also free um hd home design and remodeling it has the disc in it it has the books in it it's really heavy because it's like all books um but I don't know what this set is worth. At first, I thought it was new because it's sealed at the top, but it is not sealed at the bottom. But the disc is like new. They did cut the um, they did cut that out of here. I don't know if that's the number. I don't know if you need that to use the software. I'm not sure. So this I'm gonna definitely have to research this a little bit before I list it. So we'll see. Got some Sanford and Son. Dana, 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 Dana. So, um, probably it, this might be worth a couple bucks. I know these are old cases, so I don't know. I think that when they have these cases like this, they're really old. They're a lot older than the other plastic cases. Um, I'm not really sure. I have to do some research on this, but I thought this was unique and different. That maybe I get five bucks for it. You know, maybe more. It's all media mail. Um, I did see the classic car. I did see this one actually sell. I think this sells for like 10 or 15 bucks, something like that. Not nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, here is the Beverly Hills Cop. That's pretty neat the way that this also has a, a very um, um, unique case to it. So I'm not sure if this is worth anything. I didn't look this up. I just kind of took a 
took a guess on this. A lot of times if things aren't worth anything and they're not worth me listing, then I will definitely donate them. It needs cleaned up a little bit. It's a little dirty. Um, I found a Beauty and the Beast. The only reason why I grabbed this one is because it is a black diamond. And the black diamonds sell. They're the only ones I pick up because I know that those are going to sell. The other ones, they don't sell. I don't know what it is about the black diamonds. I don't know if they're just a special release. And that's why people really want them. So, whatever. This game's not really worth that much. I did pick it up for a dollar. Um, I think I can get seven or eight dollars for that. I see it selling new for like 15, anywhere between like 10, 50 or something, anywhere between 10 and 15 dollars. I think um, I can get 10 for this because it is in really good shape. I do believe that a lot of the newer games, they don't have books with them. They just have like a little card insert. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I do believe, yeah, this one still had the plastic on it. Like this game was like hardly played. So this is basically brand new. The case is in really good shape. I can probably sell this new. So I mean, like new, almost new, it'll probably sell really fast. So um, this was part of the one of the yard sales. This is a Gore-Tex. It is a Cabela, I think. It's a Cabela in, uh, it's a thin insulate, insulation, 40 gram. Blah blah blah. It's just a Cabela, but anytime I see Gore, anytime you see Gore-Tex, that's a good thing. So this hat may be worth about twenty dollars. I think he he charged me a dollar. Yeah, I only paid a dollar for this hat, so it's in really great shape. He had a lot of camouflage and a lot of clothes, but I really don't want any more clothing. I have so much clothing, and uh, clothing is not really what I'm looking for right now. I know we are coming in the fourth quarter. Remember, guys, it's fourth quarter. You guys got to get your stuff listed, get it up, and get it ready to go. Okay, so, they did charge me five for these, but these are all Harley Davidson patches. Um, actually, I had to hide these from some family members because they might want to steal them. And uh, I know I can make some good money off of them. Um, I think they're a little bit older. That one's a cool patch. That one's nice. I think I can get at least $10 for each patch. They do have $7 um, things on them. I may be able to sell these better. I think that someone sold a lot of these, and I think they may sell better in a lot. That one's a cool one. That one's really nice. They're all basically brand new. So then you got the, the regular one. These are all cool for jackets. I think that someone is only going to want one for their jacket. They're not going to want five or six of them. So I think that I need to just sell them separately. There's a couple more. I think there's three of them. There's that one. Yeah. Well, this one's a little different. This is like the main one, the one with the big symbol on. That one's a cool one. That one's like a chest one. And then you got the low rider. That's really cool. Low rider. I'm sure that's Harley Davidson. Uh, it doesn't say Harley, so I'm not really sure about that one. And then you got that one right there. So uh, these are definitely worth something. Um, more than five dollars, absolutely. Um, all these patches all together are, are worth. Um, I think they paid. Some, they paid not a lot for each one. Some of them say like two fifty, but then some of them are like seven dollars. The bigger they are, the more they are. Like that one was five bucks. See, that one was three dollars. I'm ready to charge more than three dollars for that patch. So I, they may be vintage too. So like this one, manufactured by Global Products under license Harley, two thousand three, all made in Thailand. Harley Davidson Global Products. That's pretty cool. So it's definitely made by Harley Davidson. It's not like, you know, so whatever. Wait do you see this next thing I got. Unbelievable. I did leave the Cabbage Patch. I, there was an electronic Cabbage Patch doll, and I should have grabbed it. I thought I did, but I ran out of cash. And I didn't want to leave and come back. So I just kind of, whatever I had enough for, I just kind of got. And that was it. That was the end of it. But I should have got that Cabbage Patch. So, here he is. I still can't think of how the commercial goes. If you, if I had him in the original box, he would be worth over a hundred dollars, probably a hundred and fifty. Um, how does the commercials go? Don't it's not don't be a dummy. Hmm. How does the commercial go? Hmm. I don't remember. Oh. You could learn a lot from a dummy. So anyway, one sold for $65. It comes apart all completely. I might have to clean up the the um, the Velcro a little bit. Here's an easy tip to clean Velcro. You take a comb 
and you just go across it with a comb, not a brush, just a regular comb, like a regular pocket slick. Um, what's the the um, the combs called? There's like a there's one name brand that makes like nothing but combs. Like I can't remember the name of the brand, but it's a really famous brand. But there's a couple stains on it, but I think I can probably get like close to um, maybe like 50, 50 bucks for him. Oh, I lost my head today. Okay. All right. So put him over there. We will deal with him later. Here is the big score of today. I paid five bucks for this. Um, I knew it was valuable and I knew it was definitely worth. They definitely priced this wrong. They probably should have priced this at about $20, which I thank God they didn't because I only had $20 in cash. I had, I think the total that I spent there was like $23. I think it was 21 or 23 or something like that. But this was from the rummage sale. This is worth new um, over $300, probably $350. It's a Panasonic DVD player, DV, um, CD DVD player. So um, the best part about it is, is that it's brand new. It doesn't have the styrofoam in the box, but it is complete. And there's not a scratch on it. It's just in beautiful, immaculate condition. It does have some, it says M McCain 216. So this is actually a little older too. This is a three year old, um, but here's the front of it. Pioneer Sirius XM mixed tracks, DIVX, um, HD radio, Bluetooth. Boom, this is beautiful, man. This is really nice. That's, check that out. I mean, there's just, there's not a scratch on it. I do have a thing where I can test it. I really didn't want to mess with the plugs. So there, this will actually fit in my car. I can actually test it in my car, but then I have to pull my radio out. I really don't want to do that. Um, I should be able to test this with my, um, I have a kit to where I can test things. I can just take them and test them that way. So um, I might just try that just to make sure it powers on and it does um, take CDs and play CDs. I may be able to put a DVD in it and play a DVD. So, but, it is absolutely complete. I don't think that this comes with a remote. I'm not sure, but I did see it laid out brand new, and I didn't see anything about a remote. So this was never installed. There's all the hardware. They are brand new in the bag. Um, here is all the manual, all the stuff to it. Here is the cord. The cord is brand new. It's never taken out of the bag. This is for... Um, I guess USB, plug your stuff into your phone, whatever you need to do. And this I took out of the bag, and this is absolutely brand new. It was never used. The wires were never, they were never stripped. So this was never used. This was brand new. So that's absolutely awesome. I'm going to sell this as new, probably new other, new open box. Um, and I'm expecting to get somewhere around 250 for this I'm, i probably shouldn't take less than 250 so we're gonna go ahead and put this away for now and that was the totally awesome super score of the day um it doesn't get any better than that this is the pioneer avh 2400 nex dvd rds av audio video receiver there's the model so if you guys don't believe it you got to see it to believe it. All right, so that was a really, really good score. Awesome, five bucks. I mean, I only spent 60 all day. So, I mean, that just like quadrupled my money completely. Super awesome. I'm actually, I'm super stoked. Um, my nephew knows a lot of these characters and he knows what these are for. I don't remember what he said this one is for. I think it's worth about, just without the... um. The accessories, I think it's worth about $30, maybe $20 or $30. So with all the characters I got, all the figures I got today, I definitely made $60 just with those. So not not too bad. So I got that one. This one is actually Swamp Thing. I was telling him about the movie, the old school movie Swamp Thing. I don't know if we looked him up or not. I don't even, he's pretty, pretty sick looking. Look at that spine, bruh. But um, he's pretty cool. Definitely Swamp Thing. Look, check him out. I didn't know the Swamp Thing was Marvel. I guess you'd have to watch the movie. I, I think I do remember watching the movie later on, like not in the beginning when I first watched it when I was a kid. 
I think I do remember watching it maybe a couple years ago and seeing like Marvel or I think he did say it was Marvel. What's that say? This is 2007. Wish it was older than that. This is Hasbro 2007. Marvel. Yep, trademark. This is Marvel. Okay. So I'm not sure what this one's worth, but I I had to grab them. I think he gave me all of them for like I think with that one and this one, and then I got him. He's not worth too much. This is the bat, the man bat. I think he's he's not marked anywhere, but I don't know if he's Marvel or not. I don't even know what he is. I just thought he was cool looking. I thought he would be worth a little bit, but I don't think he's worth that much. And him, we can't figure out what he is. He kind of looks like the Demi, um, Demi's whatever, the ones from um, Stranger Stranger Things or whatever. It kind of looks like that. The way that the mouth opens up and it's kind of like the, you know, like the flower, the way it opens. It kind of looks like that. I don't know what it is. Um, so I got to do a little bit more research on this one. I'm not really sure what this one is. So we'll see. And the rest of them, I think, I'm not sure. I did ask him who he was, and he didn't answer me, so I guess he didn't know who this one was. I don't know who he is either, but I don't know. I don't know. If you guys know who he is, drop a link, or drop a, drop a comment in the description. Drop a link. Yeah, drop a link, bro. Really, all I was really interested in was him, because I've never seen this one before. I'm not really sure what the deal is with him so I just kind of grabbed him um, and then there's another there's a red one so you have that one you have this one they're, de they're, they're obviously Power Rangers and you have this one this one looks like it was kind of like magnet on his chest or something I don't know if that's digital or what that is but then you have this one he's pretty cool he has a has the push button right here on his on his stomach where he switches faces like Manny faces from He-Man it's not working very good, is it? There it is. You gotta have the motion. There we go. Whatever. Okay. So I've got a couple toys. Toys usually do pretty well. I do pretty good with toys. Then I got these. Last but not least, we got two cameras, exactly the same. This one I paid, I paid too much for. Um, I think we bundled it together, so it wasn't that much. But this one in the box, I only paid two dollars for. So one, I think I paid a little bit too much, but this one I got at the rummage sale. Rummage sales are awesome because they just want to get rid of everything. They're not really concerned about what they're selling things for. They're, they want to raise money, but a lot of times the people that are, that are, excuse me, that are handling the sales are not really too knowledgeable of everything that's out on the floor or that's everything that's there. So it's like, I don't want to say that you take advantage of people. It's not about taking advantage of people. It's about taking advantage of the moment and um, and trying to just, you know, maximize your profit and, and spend the least amount of money on something. And I think that's what a lot of people do on, on eBay. And we kind of get insulted when people lowball us, but they're just trying to spend the least amount of money that they can on something. And a lot of people say yes. There's a lot of times where I just... I'm just in the mood to accept an offer and I'll just accept a crazy offer on something, something that I want $30 for. I'll take, you know, 15 or, you know, maybe even 10 just because I just, I want to get rid of it because it's been sitting in my store so long. It's so stale. Um, you want to list every day. You want to have active stuff. So I got this one. Um, there's other ways where you can sell Polaroids where maybe you can make a little bit more money. I may even be able to get more for them if I sell them on like um, Facebook. So I'm going to do a little bit more research and see what the best place is to sell these cameras. But there used to be somebody on eBay that used to buy my cameras all the time. Whenever I got a new camera, I would just contact them. But I haven't found any that were cheap enough for me to buy in so long. that So I mean, between these two, I only spent a total of $7. So I only spent $3. And, and you know, if you really put them together, I only spent three fifty dollars on each camera. So that's really not bad. Um, that lead does leave me with a little bit of room for profit. I don't see these selling for more than twenty, twenty-five dollars. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more for them. They do both work. One had film in it, but the film was no good. We did kind of play around with the film, but they are the exact same camera. They are the six hundred, and they do 
open up. I believe they are exactly the same. Let me see. No, they are actually different. This one is, this one's the one step close up. Different ones are worth more, um, have different um, values also. Some of them are worth more than others, depending on the model. So these are two different models. They're both the one step camera, but this one is the one step close up, and this one is the one step. So I don't know if it's any different. It appears to look exactly the same, but one may be a lot older. So is this the Polaroid? Is this the close up? Yeah. This is the one that goes in the box. This is the Polaroid close-up. So this one actually goes in this box. So I have the box, I have the camera, and I have the um, the manual and everything for this one. So I may get a little bit more for this one. This one I may actually get uh, maybe like $30 for this one because I have so much more. It's not just the camera. So we shall see, said the blind man. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Thumbs up if you like my content. Please subscribe to my channel and I will check you on the flip side. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified for when I post new video content. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Peace out. Okay, I can't believe it, but I actually forgot a couple items. Um, one of them is a really important item. It's actually a very good sale. Um, the first one is this Starcade 86 Um the Skywalkers, this is actually a really old um, 1986 um, wrestling video. Now, I expect to get at least $30 for this video. It's in okay condition. It's not in, like, perfect shape. It does have some writing on it. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and see if I can get it to look a little bit better than that. But as long as it plays and it's um, decent quality, the problem is, is that my VCR is not really working very well. Uh, maybe I need to work on that so that way I can test this stuff. That's the reason why I bought a tape player today. But anyway, I want to make this really, really fast um, because this is actually the end of the video. Um, and I picked this up today. This is the Seiko Data 2000. The only thing that's wrong with this is it's missing the computer component. It's missing the, um, the LCD screen, the screen or whatever you want to call that. It goes in the watch, it comes out of the watch, and goes into the calculator. But I've seen this, I've seen just the calculator, just this one piece right here, sell for $70, for $69. So this piece right here is, very, is valuable. I have everything but that one piece. So I'm expecting to get um, maybe $150 without the piece. I'm hoping that I can get at least a decent amount not having that piece. It would probably be smart for me to piece all this out and sell these all piece by piece because I'll probably get 70 for this and 70 for that. And you know what I mean? Because if I try to sell this whole thing for 150, I might not get as much. But if this would have been complete with that piece in it, um, some of them are selling up to 450. I don't know why they're, they're jumping from 250 to 450. That really doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why prices are like that on eBay. I don't understand that. Is, was the other one new? Was did it still have the plastic one in front, or you know what was the case that made that one sell for that much money? I don't know. So you know it's always a mystery. You never know because you don't know what that person sold it for. But it still has the original box. It was taped together. They did tape the box, so it's not in perfect. I think it was taped. Wasn't it taped together? No, actually, it's not. It's not taped together. No, it's not. So I think that there was a knob right here that maybe may have broke off. Oh, it's taped here. I knew it was taped somewhere. It's taped at the top. They taped this piece on because that must have came off. So that piece was fixed. But other than that, we'll see what it sells for. I don't know. These I was going to pass on because I did see a little bit going on here. And I think i seen one pair sell. These are not shell cordovans. As you can see, you can see where the bending is and the grain of the leather. If they were shell cordovans, you would not see that at all. That would not be there. Um, this is a brand that I don't find very often. is Stuart Hughes. Um, these are just a regular... Um, uh, what do they call this? That is... Um, what is that toe called? Bicycle toe is when it's a split. Um... I can't remember. See, I know so much about shoes, but when it's time to really talk about them, I always forget. 
Um, I believe that this, I see, I don't know if this is a, I'm not really sure. I know they need work, but they were 50 cents. So I'm hoping that if I clean these up, they still got pretty good. You want to feel on that. I mean, they do. They're real leather. I mean, I don't know. They were probably really nice when they were new. They're not the greatest of shoes. I may not even put any work into these because then I have to glue the insides. I was just going to put them back and he told me to keep them. I was like, you know what? Just keep the 50 cents. Um, I, I'd rather you just take the money and I'll just take the shoes and I'll just go with that. But I mean... These are probably, I'm guessing that these are probably the original laces because they actually look like they're two-toned. These look like these are a two-toned shoe. So, I don't know, maybe I'll clean them up. They're not really scuffed too bad. It shouldn't be arch lift or added support. They are the, I don't know what that says, something Kenny, something, I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys because I missed that. I wanted you to see it and that's all I have to show you. I'm out. Thanks for watching.